the first station is the earthquake. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in him shall never die. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. An earthquake in Holy Scripture is a sure sign of cataclysmic divine action, inducing both great fear and also great awe that God is close at hand. Such is the divine force and energy, unfathomable by human standards, that these great natural forces were surely God's way of communicating with his creation. It was clearly an act of God for those who were there to experience this geological catastrophe. And for the people of Jerusalem and in the surrounding areas to be faced with not one earthquake as Jesus was crucified as we learn from Matthew 27 but two earthquakes again another one at the time of the resurrection would have been cause for great alarm because although earthquakes were not necessarily that uncommon in this part of the world at the time we do read that the guards were left as dead so shocked and terrified they were at not only the earthquake but also the appearance of the angels there's something quite ironic i think also about the guards being seen as dead just at the moment that christ bursts into resurrection life yet the earthquake is only a small sign of god at work it does not yet fully explain what power god is unleashing in human history it is none other, as we shall come to see as we journey through the Via Lucis, than the power of the resurrection. Not experienced in this way before, and never since. And so this is so much more than simply an earthquake. Much more powerful than any geological or geographical experience. The resurrection is like a million earthquakes in terms of power and force. Yet it is not a force that brings death and destruction, but rather life, grace and energy. In these days when we are faced with other forces of nature which bring sadness, death, grief and destruction, the earthquake of the resurrection will surely shine through. What for us is the sign of the resurrection, the signs of the grace of God pushing through these times of isolation and loneliness. Let us pray. We praise you and we bless you, our risen Lord Jesus, King of glory. For in your resurrection, the power of love breaks open the earth and frees life from death. As the angel rolled away the stone from the prison of the tomb, so release those imprisoned by life's trials. To you, Lord Jesus, whose life brings surprises beyond our expectations, be honour and glory, now and forever. Amen.